everybody, this is the Pack and Backjack, and I just saw Netflix's redub of Neon Genesis Evangelion, episodes 1 to 4. So, this isn't the first time I actually covered Evangelion on this channel. I covered it before on my very confused video on what I thought of Evangelion. It was a very confusing disaster, in my opinion. I did that all in one take, and I watched the entire season in one take. I didn't even watch the endings as well, I just watched the season as it was, and... Ooh, excuse me. And I found it a very confusing mess. When I heard about the um, redub that was being done by Netflix, I was interested, to say the least. And I thought to myself, you know what? You know what? I'm going to do this right. I'm going to watch four episodes each um, video I make and put out my thoughts on each episode, all right? And actually give you my personal opinion on them. And at the end, I'll just... Uh, Give you my entire new perspective on Evangelion. Hopefully it's new. Hopefully. First of all, the dub. I liked it. I thought it was really well done. Now, um, in the original, the dub wasn't that good. I remember the dub being um, not the worst, but it wasn't the greatest either. Shinji in particular was one of the worst aspects of that show. Um, he was too whiny, too bratty. And I found that I tried to understand him because it was like, I relate to him. I'm trying to understand him because he's a teenager like me. But I couldn't because of his voice. But now that they actually got a new actor playing as him, it's a girl, by the way, which is going to be hilarious for all those people who hate Shinji so much. But, um, yeah, I actually finally got clear to his voice. I mean, you know, finally understood why Shinji was always so... Meh. I kind of related to him more and kind of felt bad for him at times. But um, besides that, all the other people were actually really good. But besides that, let's get into episode one. So if you watched the original show, you would know what happened. Shinji gets called by his dad to pilot a giant robot. And um, along the way, he sees a giant monster destroying this town. And he's supposed to fight that thing. And he was very scared when he first saw that thing it was huge mind you huge like godzilla levels of huge plus he saw tanks missiles bombs go after that thing and not even a scratch on it later well a couple of scratches but it did little damage to it and shinji a 14 year old little boy by the way ex not even able to drive a car yet has to drive a robot to fight that thing. So yeah, he said no. He first said no to his uh, father, and yeah. What happened next? He, um, another pilot who piloted the robots before, named Ray, uh, was very damaged. She was like broken arms, broken legs. She couldn't go on. And she was expected to pilot the pi robot if Shinji couldn't. And Shinji was like, oh shoot, they're actually going to put her in the robot if I don't do anything. <sighs> All right, I'm doing it. And so Shinji got in the robot and he fought it. Not in the first episode, I mind you, of course. Um... The fight that happened was in episode 2, uh, which I'll be getting to later. But first off, I needed to say that um, thanks to the dub making it a little more clear, in my opinion, since she seems less whiny and less... I'm sure I was annoyed at times, but I probably related to him more. Because it was like, of course he's whiny! He has to fight freaking Godzilla outside! What are you expecting, father of the year? You want your son to fight a monster? Are you insane? All right, let's move on to episode two. Now, episode two's fight. In my opinion, I kind of got a bit confused at that because first of all, when we saw Shinji, he failed hard. When we first saw Shinji uh, using the robot, it was like a complete plop. He fell down on the floor and the robot was like, Come here, come, come here. Boom! No! Boom! No! Boom! 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 And knocking him down. He was knocked out of the arena. He was like, Mom's gonna knock you out. Boom! So uh, Shinji was boomed to the wall. We were seeing him looking like he was gonna die. He was gonna be a dead man. And then all of a sudden we see him wake up in the hospital. And I was like confused. I was like, huh? 
Oh, he must have blacked out. Uh, makes sense. Makes sense. Um, eventually, though, we find out that the monster was destroyed by the Ava. And, uh, yeah, that was basically the episode in a nutshell. We find out how Shinji destroyed the monster, and it was through blind rage. And I have to relate to that, because if I was him, I was like, ah! Ah! I have to kill it! Kill it! Die! 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 I would be freaking out, like, in a mindless rage right now and freaking out. Like, fight or flight mode activated, and I would either lose or win. And, um, Shinji won. Thank God. If I wa if I fought him, I probably would have lost, but Shinji won. So, um, that happened, and, um, he moved in with his, um, with a new friend of his, his new guardian, in my opinion, an actual really good person, Misato. Uh... I didn't discuss her in the first episode, since I really didn't think that was, she was, well, okay, she kind of had a main part in that, but she was like, how do I describe it? She was the, uh, she was the person who drove Shinji there, and was like, fighting on Shinji's side for a little bit, saying that he shouldn't pilot the Ava, but then after the monster found out about the base, she was like, alright, Shinji, you have to fight the Ava. Now, when we find out about Misato, she is just... In my opinion, I love her, all right? I just love her. She is like this um, perpetual teenager in, in a 20-year-old body. In my opinion, I just love that, all right? When we find her house, uh, Shinji has to move into her home in episode two. It is like a mess, like messier than my room. Well, not as messy as my room, but it's messy, all right? There's cans everywhere, garbage bags. It's a trash heap up in here. And she has a pet penguin, which... Hey, that seems cool. But, um, yeah, that was episode two. I really liked that episode. I really did. Episode three. Uh, now, in my opinion, episode one is, like, here. Episode two is, like, here. It's good. It's good. Episode three is a little lower, and episode four, I'll get to that. But episode three is very interesting, because it's like, it's still good, it's still good, but it's like, uh, this is when we're kind of getting to in, uh, Shinji's little angst, you know what I mean, like, if you've heard about the show, you probably heard about Shinji's angst, you know, it's like, uh, nobody loves me. It's relatable, because his father doesn't truly love him, people just see him as a means to an end, except for Misato, of course, but... At times, Mas Masato sees him as that. And when Shinji actually got to school, which I'm surprised he has to go to school, um, there are these two kids that are there. Um, they are not Ava pilots, or at least one of them is not an Ava pilot yet. But this same kid, you know, the kid who doesn't... I don't know their names, but I'm just going to call one of them Glasses and the other guy um, Blue Jay, okay? Nice little nicknames, all right? Help me remember them. Now, Glasses, in my opinion, I like him, okay? He's voiced by the voice actor who voiced Meliodas, all right? Uh, from The Seven Deadly Sins. That's one of my favorite animes of all time. I'll tell you about that if I ever make a list, but I just love him as an actor. He was really good in Danganronpa, and he's really good in this as well, as that kind of a nerdy, but not really nerdy, but like, you know what I mean. You'll like him. Um, as for Blue Jay, Blue Jay is another favorite of mine. He is kind of a bit of a thug, but not really. You see, what happened was Shinji, after his fight, accidentally caused the uh, monster to go boom, like explode. And it caused a little bit of damage, including uh, Blue Jay's sister getting hurt. Now, she's not dead, surprisingly, but I was... A and he was pretty pissed at that pilot. He didn't know who it was at the time until he found out this episode, and he punched Shinji in the face. This kind of messed up Shinji for a little bit of the episode. Um, not like, uh, no, he was like, in the fight, he was like, uh, yeah! he was running away a bit. Not running away, but I mean, like, you know, he couldn't really do much against this uh, new um, monster that was coming around. And uh, the two kids actually come back outside to see the fight. They wanted to see the fight, which is a dumb idea, by the way. Those kids are idiots for doing that. But understandable. They want to see what happens. They want to see what's going on. Uh, Glasses mainly wanted to do it. Blue Jay was just forced to come along. And um, when they see Shinji like, going to fight that thing, they realize that, oh, man. My sister may be hurt and stuff, but 
You're really going through some shit, aren't you, right now? Oh, jeez, I feel like an asshole. That's Blue Lay's thinking right now. He's like, oh, man, I feel like a dick. So, um, in the next episode, though, Shinji had enough of it. He was done. Episode four. So, sh episode four. Uh, yeah. Not as good as episode three. In my opinion, it's like, it's good. Borderline good. Because I didn't like this episode because it was mainly just Shinji soaking around for half the episode and then eventually he was forced to come back. And, uh, not forced, but like, you know. And then he had that talk with Masato if he wanted to stay or leave. He chose to leave. And, um, he eventually stayed at the end. He stayed at the end and he kind of got over himself. Which is pretty good, in my opinion. Since Shinji is no longer like, why am I fighting this? And he finally actually finally finds out that he's not just fighting them. He's not fighting for just because he has to. He's fighting because of his friends. He's fighting because he actually has a purpose. Now, um, the reason why I don't like this episode is because um, it's like way too, feels way too long in my opinion. It's like Shinji is supposed to be like, <sighs> I'm surprised he was sulking around the entire town. I'm surprised he, he shouldn't he have left. He should have left in my opinion if he was just like, I'm done, man. I'm done. If he was tired of it, he should have left. But then at the end, he realized, no, I'm going to stay. And that kind of fixed things a bit, but kind of a waste of an episode, in my opinion. Still, at least Shinji is kind of over himself and now finally ready to fight a little better. But, um, all right. As for the two kids that were from the last episode, they were really nice. They realized it was like, Hey man, I'm I'm sorry. Blue Jay in particular, he was like, Man, I'm sorry. You know what? I punched you. It's time for you to punch me. And it's like Shinji was like, are, are you sure? Yeah, man, come on, punch me. It's like, Alright. But don't hold back now, okay? I won't. Don't hold back. I'm not. Don't hold <coughs> Ow. And it's like they were now friends, and I finally felt happy because it was like Shinji finally had friends. Good job, man. Good job. You finally did it. And, um, yeah. Good job. Um, so, other than that, I would say that pretty much everything is doing all right so far. Netflix is doing really well with the voice acting, and, yeah. I'm forgetting something, aren't I? Ah. Uh. Right, 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 right. The porky mind dilemma. Uh, not the porcupine. The hedgehog's dilemma. Right, right. <sighs> Completely forgot about that weird thing. In episode three and episode four, we kind of got introduced to this dilemma where it's like these two little hedgehogs were trying to group up for the winter and every time they do, they would get hurt each other. That's basically human interaction in a nutshell. Shinji avoids that and tries to not be involved with that so that he doesn't get hurt. But in reality, though, that... He still gets hurt, though. So, at episode four, when we finally find out that Shinji makes friends, it's like, good on you, man. You're finally over it. You're finally over the hedgehog's dilemma. There. So, episodes one and two and three and four. I would rate them as very good, good, eh, good, and eh, very, I guess, good. So, yeah. Pretty good arc. Kind of goes down in quality, but... Who knows? Maybe the next art might be very interesting. Uh, yeah, those are my thoughts. See you all next time.